Chapter 25 Suppose two people take a dispute to court and the judges declare that one is right and the other is wrong. If the person in the wrong is sentenced to be flogged, the judge will command him to lie down and be beaten in his presence with the number of lashes appropriate to the crime. No more than forty lashes may ever be given. More than forty lashes would publicly humiliate your neighbor. Do not keep an ox from eating as it treads out the grain. If two brothers are living together on the same property, and one of them dies without a son, his widow must not marry outside the family. Instead, her husband's brother must marry her and fulfill the duties of a brother-in-law. The first son she bears to him will be counted as the son of the dead brother, so that his name will not be forgotten in Israel. But if the dead man's brother refuses to marry the widow, she must go to the town gate and say to the leaders there, My husband's brother refuses to preserve his brother's name in Israel. He refuses to marry me. The leaders of the town will then summon him and try to reason with him. If he still insists that he doesn't want to marry her, the widow must walk over to him in the presence of the leaders, pull his sandal from his foot, and spit in his face. She will then say, This is what happens to a man who refuses to raise up a son for his brother. Ever afterward his family will be referred to as the family of the man whose sandal was pulled off. If two Israelite men are fighting and the wife of one tries to rescue her husband by grabbing the testicles of the other man, her hand must be cut off without pity. You must use accurate scales when you weigh out merchandise, and you must use full and honest measures. Yes, use honest weights and measures, so that you will enjoy a long life in the land the Lord your God is giving you. Those who cheat with dishonest weights and measures are detestable to the Lord your God. Never forget what the Amalekites did to you as you came from Egypt. They attacked you when you were exhausted and weary, and they struck down those who were lagging behind. They had no fear of God. Therefore, when the Lord your God has given you rest from all your enemies in the land, he is giving you as a special possession. You are to destroy the Amalekites and erase their memory from under heaven. Never forget this.